Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining today. We're out at Loco. Got a different one, I'm not on my own this time. We're out with the boys. This is my two rods here. I do have more rods, obviously, but I have forgotten my alarms. It's an absolute nugget. I'm actually selling a van, and all my stuff's in that van. So I'm kind of splitting stuff up. So I've put it all in that van, unfortunately. But luckily, Gareth brought two spare rape alarms. These things are deadly. Make a hell of a noise. The two of them both set up. Hoping for a big, big mama pike to come and take the bait. I'm not going to be spinning or anything this time. I'm just chilling. My wife uh, is quite heavy pregnant now, and this this might be my last big outing. So we're here for three days. And I've got I've got three dogs with me: Pippi, Cora, and Venus. I'm sure you'll see them at some point in the videos. They're rad. They're having a great time. They keep running in and. Getting the lines tangled up, the buggers, but we'll try and keep them on the bank. They should settle. Um, we've got Stephen, Gareth, and Sean out there today. And uh, Stephen's already had two catches, both of them being seagulls. So I'll show you my bivvy set up. That's all set up now. Oh, that's a nightmare of a bivvy to set up. I'm hoping Stephen can help me. He's got a bivvy similar, it's just smaller. I'm hoping he can guide me on how to put it down and pack it up because that was a real difficult setup. I need to get better at this. Here's my baby, the Lux Leopard, Leopard XXL. Come inside and see. My nice wee zip here at the bottom. Hey, Cora. Here's how I've got it set up. Obviously my baby bed. Fox R1 Camo bed chair XL and my wee book, my wee chair, table, all my clothes and other supplies. Then you come, Venus. Then you come. Here she comes. Good girl. Good girl. And the dog beds, obviously. You know, I would normally take my boots off to come into the bivvy and try and keep it clean, but the dogs are going to get minging, so that is what it is. What we'll do is we'll give you a wee quick look at everybody's bivvies. Here's the setup. The van was the crank spot, the vans are right there, bay fans, drive down the baller. We've got the fire going. Uh, we'll go have a look at Sean's bivvy. We got this for free because it had been abandoned at Lockcon. I actually see the amount of stuff I find at Lockcon because I walk my dogs out there quite often. So it, it had been two weeks in the winter. This had been left. It's a TF gear instant pop up bivvy. I think it's probably worth about 200 quid new. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Sean, do you mind if I open up your door just to see your bed chair? Yeah, go on. I'm impressed, I said, yeah. <laughs> we'll see if he's set this up wrong. I'll just adjust this for him. So, it's nice and easy, this one. It literally pops up really quick. It's got a nice porch. We'll get that up. We'll just leave that open for him. The midges are in here, obviously. When we found this, it was absolutely stinking. It had clearly been abandoned, and uh, we had to clean it right up. I just went straight to the shops and got it. And it's it is tight, don't get me wrong, it's tight for space. His chair, his bed chair looks so comfy. He's got the ProLogic Inspire. I don't know if it's picking it up, it's quite dark. Get out, Venus, get out. This is Sean's baby, his clothes. You see how much space he's got in it. It's a beautiful bed chair. It's probably well comfy. Um, we both got it the same day. I got the XL because I want a wee bit more space, but see, sometimes I think I wish I got his because it looks very, very comfy. So I'll zip this back up. What I'll do is I'll just close it now and then I'll open up the awning for him in a minute. Let the flies get out. We've got Stephen's bivvy over here. I don't know what kind of bivvy this is. He's got the water skin on it. You got any dead bodies in there, Stephen? Can I have a wee peek? Huh? So there's a few uh, posh thingies. We'll open up here. Stephen's bivvy is lovely. He's got the water skin on it too. And as you see through it, he doesn't have a porch on it though. 
Ah, you're right enough, I can see the bodies. Oh, Velcro's up. It's lovely. It's such a nice bivet, I have no idea what kind of bivet it is. I asked them earlier what it is, but we don't know. It's good. It goes up so quick, so easy. And this is Gareth's. We're in Gareth's, it's just a bigger version of Sean's. Gareth's is just a bigger version of Sean's, I think. Gareth runs, wait to see, he's got the whole house in here. It's got a letter box style door, which is nice. It's got his bed, smoke, battery, and fridge. Perfect, the ring has a two, three man, where Sean is one and two man. Oh, I can't get the door open, back up. <laughs> Gareth's is uh, right in the way of the smoke for the fire. So it'll be smelly tonight in there. Obviously the two vans. So that's the setup. we're just waiting for the Rods to go screaming. I'm going to go sit down and have a drink. I'm going to cook up some steak. And these potatoes are so good. Stephen always brings them and they're so good. So, he's very kind of got us one. So we'll have them with our steak. A little bit of double cream as well. Plates, two sets of cutlery. Right. Okay. Show you a crispy one. Good as that look. Like. Hard not to eat them whilst they're, they're ready. A bit of Gareth's special sheet seasoning. That it makes up, and it's so good. A bit of chilli on it, salt and pepper, I think. forward to dinner. It's probably a bit much. <laughs> but, oh. Life. Stick them back on in a couple of minutes once these steaks are on. So good. If I can make these both at the same time. Gareth just shouted, his seasoning's copyrighted, so shout out to Gareth seasoning. It's very tasty. Mm. Delicious. Absolutely, I mean, bro. They're back around. I can see why they're all fucking sorry about me. I'll edit over the sound and put music. Wait, you are the guy that I watch. You just put the tripod on. Oh, yeah. have settled eventually. They've been running about outside. From hell. They can still get through the wee gap like there and there's a wee gap there so I'm going to do is bring the cooker and my chair in and just sit them there and they shouldn't be able to get out. Got one. Bulls are river crossing. 
totally missed it. I was chilling out my bivvy with the dogs. Kind of rod went. So looks like a nice wee one. How they ran across this, I don't know. Whoa. Who picked this spot? I'm next to my thing. You could have said I've just run across your buggers. Just doing a wee check on my rods. Everything's looking well. No fish yet. That garish fish there. They were in such a rush. And the alarms were screaming there. That, uh, when I landed it and stuff, I realised he didn't bring his forceps. So I'd go back and get it. And then I obviously forgot to... I just ran my back across the wee river a bit just over there. Just ran across and grabbed my forceps. And ran back. So two seconds and then forgot to film it. But I got some pictures of his bike, so I'll pick them on. Lovely fire tonight. Beautiful night. We can hear a owl in the distance. Lovely. Dogs are chilling in the bed. And the girls are all settled for the night. Got a nice view of the fire. Gareth and Stephen and Sean are still up chatting away. I've blocked this off with uh, bags, chairs, wellies, gas bottle at the bottom here. It's been pretty good. Good dogs. Penis keeps jumping up my bed, so I figured I'd better sacrifice my pillow than sacrifice my bed. <coughs> Heavy. Oh, hey, chair. Oh, hey, table. Lovely setup. And it's pretty much time for bed for me. Fingers crossed for some pike tonight slash tomorrow. Early morning would be nice. Five o'clock, our neighbour says five o'clock every day. That's when the pike turn on. So fingers crossed and it's been a good day. It's been really good. The dogs have been good. We've had one fish, we've had good food. Onwards we go with the journey, the adventure. Good night. See you in the morning. Bloody seagull has got the bait. I need to reel in. <sighs> Come running out there. Still in my boxers. <laughs> Thinking we'll fit fish on. Hey, I'll reel this in and get it unhooked. Put my forceps. There we go. It's been released. On you go. <laughs> Our biggest catch so far is a big seagull. Now we turn it the right way around, obviously. It's not been a... There we go, it's happy. It just flipped itself around just as I was about to turn it. Look, you see the trout jumping. Just gotta check my rods. They're just over here. My rods haven't went off yet tonight. It's made no noise whatsoever. It's a good thing, so it means I'm deeper than what the seagulls can get to. Ducks are, the ducks are at them.
Shoot that up, I tell you. Should have gone and checked it. I'll chuck it back out for you. Put this lovely bit of river just coming down beside the tents. There's the tents just there, we band it you. Gets deep just just there, big pool. And then a bit of flowing. Very tranquilizer, very peaceful. Sit on these logs and just chill for a bit. Got the seagulls back. It's not taking any of the bait just yet. I've seen it pull out a couple of wee fish, probably with trout. There's been a few seagulls come back and forth. And they've definitely been taking fish. Just wee ones though. Let's at it again. Just trying to get it. Got it. Has it dropped it? Just dropped it, thankfully. Back her off, seagull. It's away, thankfully. Oh, here it's coming back. Oh, cool. Come here, sweetie. Hello, Venus. <laughs> I see ya. I know where to go. Again, don't kiss his ear. Oh, I don't kiss his that much, you know. I like cuddles though. Dog cuddles are good. Dog kisses are disgusting. I know the stuff you eat. Mm. I don't know what your food's like. And I know you eat poo. And what else you eat? And then. You eat my windowsill. You eat my TV unit. You eat Callum's toys. No, she knows she's in trouble there. She's off seats. God, it's found a stick. <laughs> they've been stashed. That's what they're up to. Such a nice spot. Good job, baby.
Hi right, Gareth, that's not a seagull. That wasn't a seagull. not easy to get closer. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Bring the net! Hey, the one that's here! One, one, one. Just in, just in the water. I think that's two, by the way. Because I got Ooh. a seagull. <laughs> Doug, move. Go on. Back. Move. Move. Happy days. I've got the same. See what the pike got? That wee pike hit it hard. That was. Right, come on, oi. I thought I was caught onto a rock. No, oi. Oi. Venus, come on. Come on. You're a dafty. You should just be sniffing it. Right. Go get yourself another bait out, Gareth. That was yours. You're no faster last in this game. Time for some breakfast. And here is the finished product. Egg, bacon, sausage, link sausage, black pudding under here. Under there somewhere is a black pudding right at the bottom. Stacked up high. And I've got my bread over there, you see it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Decided to take the girls for a wee walk. It's been very good. It's so beautiful. It's a big pine forest. I wasn't expecting to do a walk or anything. But this track hasn't went flat yet. <laughs> It's just uphill the whole time. <laughs> I've been walking about an hour or something now. With them up the top of the hill. It starts to go down. 
and uh, in that, well, more in away from the lock. So we're definitely not getting a locked view, which I was hoping for, but I started cracking walk nonetheless. Happy days. Always by my side, eh, Pip Screech? Always by my side. It's been a slow day. The, uh, it's bright. The fish are not biting. So I'm going to go chill with the dogs. We've had that awesome walk. And I'm going to chill with them and listen to an audiobook. If I can find my headphones. Where did I put them? Right there. <coughs> Great headphones. Aftershocks. Hold my door. Alright, listen to an audiobook for a bit. Hopefully the alarms go screaming. And the whole time I was away there, nobody had a bite at all. So, that's when it's beautiful. But you don't want this when you're fishing. Took her a while, but she's asleep. <laughs> she doesn't like to settle. She's always on the go. But she's finally asleep. Cora and Pepe on the other hand. They all sit there quite happy for ages. They sit there and they try to get out the whole time. But she's finally asleep. So we've come across Stevens and his boxers. <laughs> and this is one and right to start moving. So we're just waiting for it to go. Neither shorts, no boxers. Apparently they're no boxers. So he's, apparently he's decent. <laughs> yeah, that's moving. That's moving. That's moving. That was moving like hell. That's good to have something on it, still have a bend. No, 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 that one. Oh. Under the start, see, you look, no, I've got lamp I think this is lamp fuel, too, I think. If that happened to me, too, I'd, I'd snap my line. Stephen had another screamer in a run there, but. Rather than me going over to come back over again, I've got the net and everything here. <coughs> I'll wait and see if he's actually on. Because I lost my forceps last time, but I found them. But aye, hopefully he's on. Look at them with a fish, it's been a while. Oh, don't know what happened there. There's really not much happening this morning. The midges are biting as well. I just figured I'd come and spend some time with my rods. <laughs> Try and catch.